of the cat steaks. And uh, Lyroff, Crystal Quest with a bad beginning, bobbled at the break. Full Nelson on the far outside, prominent in the early stages. Feltrinelli, first time routing, going a few turns here on the grass today, is prominent too. And Izzy D'Oro from the inside sprints forward to have a nose lead. Feltrinelli right there to the outside. A big gap of four back to Abrumar and Full Nelson off the top pair who do battle, go at a good clip in the first quarter mile or so. Then comes Rose Collector, Carson's run, they're side by side. Noted and Crystal Quest are together as well. Mission ready, far out of it early. As a fast pace to chase at least. It's Izzy Doro inside of Feltrinelli. Feltrinelli with a neck lead now. Izzy Doro right there to the inside. There's still four ahead of Abrumar in the third position. Full Nelson to the outside. Crystal Quest has advanced a few spots. He's fifth now as the top pair really slow it down here down the back stretch. Rose Collector, Carson's run next. Noted joins them and a big gap to Mission Ready, who's still well out of it with a half mile to go. Izzy Doro, a neck in front. Now it's a half length. Feltrinelli sent hard and full Nelson and the three path gets closer. These three right across the track as they charge into the far turn. Abrumar getting a good trip and the fourth position on the rail to this point. Now full Nelson has come under a pressure as they round the far turn. Still on the lead. Izzy Doro, Feltrinelli, Abrumar's ready to go. Abrumar kicks it into gear and the three path. Full Nelson's not done. Fighting hard. Rose Collector right behind the leaders. He's pinned in nowhere to go and here comes Carson's run. Carson's run. The grade one winner is let loose on the outside. It has overpowered the competition, runs away, and wins the tail of the cat stakes in impressive fashion. Full Nelson out finishing Abrumar for the second spot, and then Izzy Dora, who is next. Carson's run took a while, decided to finally turn it on, and when he did, he was gone. Yeah, between the half mile pole and the three eighths pole. I absolutely said to you, Wolfie, Carson's run just didn't train on. He looked like he was all in at that point and wasn't really going anywhere. And then they turned for home, and I'm glad I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> it's the first win of his three-year-old campaign here. Start number two coming back. He definitely made everybody wait a little bit before he found his footing on the turf, but he handled this group with ease, 142 and three final time uh, for the mile and the 16th and maybe bigger and better things to come from this horse who showed so much talent early on. Absolutely, I mean, he showed so much talent on debut and then just, you know, he just never really, really turned into what he, you, you thought he was gonna be after that one race at Saratoga. And this is what it was always supposed to be. You know, I don't know if he just doesn't like running the turns. I don't know if he didn't like being around horses. He just didn't look like he was traveling well on the turn, but once he straightened up for home, man, he was impressive. Congratulations to West Point Thoroughbred and Steve Boucher. Six, nine, seven, one, Carson's run. Back big in the second start of his three-year-old season. This is only 18 days away. Get ready, we'll be back.